Hey there, so you already know how to create variables in C++, but you have no idea what your property actually does? In this video, we will discuss the most important aspects of your property so you don't need to look any further. Your property is a macro which exposes your variable to the engine. In other words, with your property, you can make use of garbage collection and treat or edit your variables inside blueprints. You don't need to use your property all the time. You can also just use plain C++ variables. But you should use your property under the following conditions. You want to show or edit your variables in blueprints. Or the variable is a pointer to a U object. In this case, you need to make sure that the pointer is not garbage collected, else it will be a stale pointer. Let's talk about the most important specifiers for U property. Let's start with visible anywhere and visible defaults only. This specifier tells Unreal that you want to be able to see the value of your property in the engine. These specifiers make most sense when you want to show a calculated value like a score or you want to visually debug your values while testing the game. The Edit Anywhere and Edit Defaults Only specifiers are an extension to the previous one. Now you can not only see the variable, but also edit it. You want to actually use it anytime you want to configure a variable. When do you use the Anywhere version and when do you use the default versions depends on the use case. When you use Anywhere, you will be able to see or edit variables in instances of the object. If you use defaults only, you will only be able to change it on the Blueprint class and therefore not on each individual platform. Let's talk about Blueprint Read Write and Blueprint Read Only. The last four property specifiers were all about showing and editing your variable in the property window. But maybe you want to use your variable in a function or an event. This is only possible if you specify one of these two specifiers. Blueprint Read Only allows your blueprints to read the variable in any function or event. Blueprint Read Write allows it to also set a new value for the property. Maybe you want to make sure that an event is called each time a variable is changed. Then there is a neat trick in Unreal. You can use the Blueprint Setter specifier and assign a function which handles setting the new variable. Now, each time you set the variable in the blueprint, your specified function is called instead. This has also additional benefits as you can easily also deny changing the variable if certain conditions are met. Let's talk about some convenience modifiers. Category is one of these. You can specify a category for your new property and even nest these categories to have subcategories. This makes most sense for huge classes. For example, your player character will probably benefit from using dedicated categories. Config is another cool modifier, which can be quite useful in some instances. Config allows you to change your default property values using the ini file of your game. You don't need to recompile the game, you can just change the ini file, which is a lot of fun for tunable parameters like difficulty settings for example. In order to use the config specifier, set the config to game in the U class, which means you want to get your values from any game related ini file. Then use config on the property you like and go to the ini file and assign a new value by first referencing the class and then the property. The config parameter can also be used to have some kind of mini moddable capabilities for your game. But this doesn't replace full modding support of course. Thank you all so much for watching, I wish everyone a fantastic start to the new year and stay tuned for more content as we will be developing a mini game in Unreal C++ the next February.